Hello. Now we'll see IIT JE Main 2017 Physics. We'll see the solution. Code A, question one. Question reads like this: A man grows into a giant such that his linear dimensions increase by a factor of nine. Linear dimensions increase by a factor of nine. Assuming that his density remains same, the stress in the leg will change by a factor of option one, nine, option two, one by nine, option three, 81, option four, one by 81. It's an easy sum. Stress in the leg, so stress, we know that it's force per unit area, okay? Force mg, area you write as it is, mass is volume into density into g here, mass is volume into density, this a you write as it is. Of course this volume you can write as a into l rho into g by a, this a will go off. rho constant g constant so you can write stress is proportional to l so when there is a when l increases linear dimension increases by a factor of 9 stress also will increase here he has given change by a factor of 9 so option 1 is correct Question number two, a body is thrown vertically upwards, which one of the following graphs correctly represent the velocity versus time? Four options, option one, two, three, this is option two. Option three, option four, okay? So, this is basically a kinematic graph. Now, we will see certain things are assumed in this question. No air resistance. And the velocities are in such a way that the height to which it is thrown is very, very less than the radius of the earth. That means the acceleration due to gravity is taken as constant. It is all understood unless they specifically state it is all understood that no air resistance height through which it goes is far less than the radius of the earth or we can say acceleration due to gravity is constant okay what is the idea here you throw an object goes and comes down goes to the maximum height and comes down okay and all the time it is accelerating in the downward direction all the time even though the body is going up its acceleration is down that's why its speed decreases finally it stops because it's accelerating down but moving up after it has reached the highest position it will fall down and you see that its velocity time graph so whether it goes up or comes down matters a lot so in this case you see that there is no velocity in the negative side because initially when you throw you know it goes up suppose going up if you take positive coming down you have to take negative so this is not possible fourth one here also there is no negative side so you rule out this because it's given velocity time graph but here you see there is velocity given here in the negative side also there is some velocity mentioned here also but uh, one thing you can see in case 3 there is a straight line because all our straight lines are combinations of straight lines here the straight line has a fixed slope slope is constant for this straight line because when you and also slope gives you the acceleration 
the body is accelerating in the downward that is the body has got an acceleration in the downward direction which doesn't change even though the body moves up acceleration is in the downward direction and the body comes down after reaching the maximum height acceleration is in the downward direction therefore the acceleration which is given by the slope should be constant that is true for this option so you can say that this is correct without knowing any equations if you just to know this concept for a body going up and coming down the acceleration is downward and whose value is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared here is not asked that okay suppose they give some data ask you to calculate the acceleration take the slope slope of the line and you see here initially he has given the velocity in the positive direction that is upward direction positive downward direction negative acceleration is in the downward direction so slope is negative understood that so you without knowing any equations or motions just by logical argument you can easily pick this as the correct answer now you can see what's wrong with this you know this graph actually this is also straight line suppose i ask you instead of velocity time graph if it is speed versus time graph speed cannot be negative it can increase decrease but it cannot be negative so therefore negative portion is absent here so when you throw up as it goes up speed decreases speed decreases highest point speed is zero zero then it comes down but changes direction but speed time graph we can't show that but only thing speed increases therefore this is fine provided the question is speed versus time graph or you can say velocity time graph if you want to take speed versus time graph the straight line in the negative side you have to get its image on the x axis so it will come like this this is the speed time graph same idea only but only thing negative you are not considering it you are considering the image of that all the individual negative values you make it positive so from this portion if you take its image on the x axis the negative side that becomes this graph so if the question had been speed time graph this is correct if the question had been speed time graph option 3 would not have been correct because speed cannot be negative so many things are there now this graph you know this is not practically possible because in a given time there are two values of velocity possessed by the body not possible so as per this question what is the correct answer option 3 velocity versus time graph thank you